Now, the first phase of the workflow is going to be information discovery and then planning. Before we can begin changing the code, developers need to understand the inner workings of the structure and functionality. Then we need to parse documentation and develop a game plan to ensure that consistency and best practices are present throughout the code base. So I'm shifting over to my IDE of choice, VS Code here. We support VS Code and JetBrains IDEs, and it's a simple extension. And after I authenticate, Augment's going to index the entire workspace by default. As you can see, I don't have to choose a certain model. I don't have to open certain files because the way we built our open source and in-house combination of models, we want to give developers the ease of access with less friction so they can begin coding as quickly as possible. Now, I have the Augment Mono repo, repo open here, and we're a big believer of drinking our own champagne, so we actually use Augment to create Augment. Now, this Mono repo has thousands of files and millions of lines of code. So whether I'm a 10X dev who's been working here all the time, or I'm new to the project or the company as a whole, I always have to surface pivotal information, which is where context comes into place. Now, because Augment's already aware of the entire workspace, I can begin by asking questions such as, what API routes are present in this code base? And Augment's gonna be able to rock through the entire code base and provide a response, which is gonna save me hours or days or even weeks, depending on how complex the code base is. It's gonna give a nice structure and define the functionality of everything that I asked for. Now, Augment is multi turn so I can actually add upon previous responses. For example, how do I add a post route to four? Augment's going to know that I'm talking about the runner service. And it's going to output code that's not generic, but actually matches the style, structure, and syntax of my entire code base. I can then copy relevant pieces of code, or I can actually use our smart apply functionality to get a nice little diff view and apply those changes in my code. We also understand that you may not be working on just a single repository, or you might have libraries or multi repos that interact with each other. The way we enable you to enhance the context at Augment is actually by adding additional files, such as code files or documentation to enhance Augment's context. For this example, I'm going to be adding a documentation of architectural decision records, which basically reviews technology choices and the reasoning behind it. This kind of goes into the planning stage of the developer workflow. Before I can start making changes, I need to first make sure the right teams are notified or the right technologies used. Instead of going through all of that process, I can just upload the relevant documentation to Augment and start asking questions, such as, according to ADRs, is Tailwinds an approved CSS framework? Augment's going to be able to grok that documentation for me and provide the response within seconds. Now, we also understand that you want to maybe focus the context in certain areas. So we give the ability for you to specify certain files or folders for Augment to use in its responses. We also understand that languages, frameworks, they all change through the times with different versioning. So syntax, functionality, they can be vastly different depending on the version. Instead of you having to spend hours on Stack Overflow or outdated sites, we've already pre-uploaded over 300 external docs for you to use. So for this example, if I wanted to start coding in Tailwind and I found my specific version, any follow-up question I ask Augment, Augment's going to then look at the documentation and provide the response adhering to the instructions in that documentation for me. Now, another pivotal piece of the information discovery and planning stage is if I'm, for example, tasked with adding an attribute to a certain data structure. First, I have to find that data structure, and for whatever reason, maybe I can't remember the name. I know it's related to edits, but if I search that, I have over 20,000 results, and none of them point me in the right direction. Maybe I remember that it's related to edit events. I now have over 30 results, but again, none of them are pointing me to where I need to be. With Augment, we have the ability to ask questions in natural language the same way you would ask a senior or 10x dev in your team. For example, where is the data structure full exported edit events? 
And because Augment understands how the code actually functions, it's able to point me to the exact file and the exact data structure at a datum that I was looking for. I can then go and begin my task. Um, and Augment is going to autocomplete my thought for me. And it's going to follow the syntax, for example, a doc string after every attribute. Now we understand that the task is only going to be one or two lines of code changes in one file. It's going to be rippling through multiple files with multiple edits needed. And Augment's here to help you for the entire feature at hand, not just one or two lines of change. So with an upcoming feature called suggested edits, Augment's going to take me through line by line on different files to make appropriate updates that are caused by this ripple effect from one change. If I don't want to go through um, with singular edits, I can actually look at suggestions at a global level. So Augment over here is realizing that there's a git diff of adding the session ID to that datum field. And it's going to go through all the files in my workspace and give me the appropriate changes needed. Now, because Augment takes into context things like where your cursor's at, what files are open, uh, what docs have been highlighted, uh, it also takes in what's called recency information. So it knows that what I'm doing right now is of the utmost importance. So if I accept or if I even reject, Augment's going to understand my intent better and update his suggestions accordingly. <laughs> 